Welcome! Welcome aboard Passengers Mega Sim here. How are you doing? I hope you're well. We are on the Class 395 for a short video. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of a walkthrough of the train, of course. Um, we are at St Pancras. As you can see, we've got the green light to go. But we've got the news article that has been released by Dovetail Games, which is Jubilant Javelin. So what we're going to do is uh, we can actually set this up um, just so you know um, what we can do on there. One, two, one, two. Yep, there we go. Put that on and we can reset that. So our train is pretty much ready to depart. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk through the train and we're going to talk uh, about the news article. So, experience the thrilling high-speed commuting as you drive Britain's fastest domestic train. Thundering through London and the Garden of England with the new Southeastern High Speed arriving today. Well, we know because we've had our videos, haven't we? We've been on the live stream. We've got some videos out already. So, yeah, we're having some fun with this. So since the first Southeastern High Speed services in 2009, the BR Class 395 Javelin has served an incredible 100 million passengers. Built by Hitachi between 2007 and 2009, there are now 29 sets of these advanced high speed trains running on the network. You will experience a high detailed feature rich re recreation. Recreation? 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 It's a recreation, isn't it? With authentic sound recordings and true-to-life performance and handling. At Brit as Britain's fastest domestic train, the BR395 EMU, which is more commonly known as the Javelin, certainly earns its namesake. Once it has departed London St Pancras Station, enters the HS1, it can reach speeds of up to 140 miles per hour, included with the BR395 Javelin is the magnificent Trainbow livery unveiled ahead of the 2018 London Pride. This striking addition to Southeastern's 10th anniversary livery toured the southeast of England for the summer of that year. Both the 10th anniversary and Trainbow liveries are playable for you to enjoy. Just remember it is random so you only get it as a random option the Trainbow. So all the units that are included in the Southeastern High Speed are also compatible with the livery designer. So try your hand at creating something as striking as these liveries. If you prefer a moderate pace, a more moderate pace of driving, the Southeastern High Speed also adds the BR Class 375-9 uh, EMU to your timetable. Built by Bombardier, Transport is part of the Electrostar family of units and is the most numerous EMU in Britain. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand out here and have a look here whilst we continue. Since the privatisation of British Rail, this version is modelled as a 375-9 variant as in and in the southeastern dark blue livery, which was designed to be in a similar style to the livery of the Javelin. You'll be able to complete services that stop at all stations between Faversham and Rochester. This simulates journeys that would usually be bound for London Victoria and services between Faversham and Gravesend to represent services bound for Charing Cross. Additionally, here we go. If you own the Northern Trans Pennine add-on, four additional services will be added to Southeastern High Speed. You have the Medway Explorer and the Medway Wanderer, which is one each way, so that's why we got four. These represent the various rail tours that often travel the region and give you the freedom to use the respective locomotives and coach stock from that content with southeastern high speed. With these services added you can also use alternative locomotives. Okay, so we've got um, various locos that we can use such as the class 20, the class 31, the 37 and the 40 but also there is the 47 and 45 but they don't mention there uh, which are available in other preserve collection add-ons. For those with an interest in freight, uh, what we'll do is uh, let's let's take a seat. No, nope, don't like that seat. Want that seat? There we go. For those with an interest in freight, East Coastway 
adds a further additional service, the BR Class 66 and freight traffic at Hu Junction. With the success of the International Route High Speed 1, plans were made to increase the productivity of this route and provide faster local services. Although it was originally conceived to serve Folkestone and Canterbury via Ashford and a direct service to Gravesend, intervention from other local councils who wanted to increase development and regeneration within the Medway towns and to stimulate regeneration in more distant coastal towns led to the changing route course to what we know as it is today. So each station, bridge, tunnel, landmark has been lovely recreated, been lovely, re lovely recreated to accurately represent Dovetail Games' very own local line. On-site visits, local knowledge and detailed research have enabled them to create a true-to-life route that gives you an en engaging and immersive experience. Southeastern High Speed introduces a new feature, moving railway crossing gates. So we've seen them, haven't we, at uh, Sittingbourne and Gillingham. If there are any others, leave a comment below. This highly requested feature adds to the realism and makes places like Gillingham Crossing and Raynham Station, perfect locations to capture dynamic rail fan shoots. Okay, so Raynham as well. You will be able to enjoy this challenging English route in different ways each time you take to the tracks. Five unique scenarios, 259 services, which increase to 264 if you have the appropriate add-ons. And compatibility with Trainsim World 2's scenario planner means you can play it your way. Trainsim World 2 is available now, as we know, on PlayStation, on Xbox, and on Steam. That is right. I have no idea why this train... Oh, okay, he's stuck at a red light for us. So, it is available right now, as you know, on PlayStation. On PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, and your PC. That is right. What we're going to do is we're going to leave this station... Uh, right now, hopefully it's going to uh, connect properly and we'll be able to leave this lovely station of St Pancras. And there it is. And then we will end this video. Now I just need to put the lights on. So let's stick those lights on. Uh, that one. Day running. I do like the uh, hazard warning. So let's have a look at the hazard warnings. Oh yeah, they look they look funky, don't they? So, right, let's lock the doors. And we will stand here and watch the train leave. But no, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, news article is available in the description below if you want to read it yourself. But don't forget to subscribe for more videos from Mega Sim. We've got plenty more Southeastern coming up. Um, and yeah, social media links are in the description below. But thank you so much again for watching. We will see you on the next video. This is Mega Sim out of here. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Right, let's watch this. Oh, yeah, look at that. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. So the other train is just over here, isn't it? Look. There it is. Right, there we go. See you later, guys. We'll just watch this one come out, because that would be cool, wouldn't it? This is the one that I wanted to uh, be available for me, but it looks like uh, we actually have to go over the track. So, yeah, there we go. Anyway, right. Here he goes. <laughs> nice. Right, see you soon. Bye.